Why did you do this? Asked reporters as a suspected killer of 15-year-old Ng Yuk Tim was hauled into Petaling Jaya's magistrate's court on Wednesday morning. When asked if he regretted his crime, the 23-year-old said, Police is remanding the man until October 29 to assist in investigations into the murder of Yuk Tim, who was found dead and stuffed in a suitcase on Tuesday night. Petaling Jaya, OCPD, ACP, Arjunaidi Mohammad says the case was being investigated under Section 302 of the Penal Code for Murder. It was reported that Yuk Tim left her home at 11 o'clock on Monday morning and went to the suspect's home in Kampong Champaka in Kranajaya to work on cosplay costumes for an upcoming event. He confessed that he tried to rape the girl before striking her with a dumbbell, killing her on the spot. The man initially claimed that he had dropped her off at the Kranajaya LRT station at about 3.30 p.m. He was then handed over to the Petaling Jaya police. The suspect later led the police to a body, believed to be that of Yuk Tim, which was stuffed in a suitcase near Kota Kamuning in Shah Alam at around 8.30 p.m. on Tuesday. At the University of Malaya Medical Center mortuary, family members of the victim waited patiently to collect the body of Yuk Tim. A small prayer was offered for the soul of the victim at the mortuary as well. Selangor Deputy Police Chief Deputy Commissioner Dato Abdul Rahim Jaffa said the post-mortem conducted at the University of Malaya Medical Center so that Ng died of severe head injuries due to three heavy blows to the head and there was no evidence to suggest she was raped. The victim's mother, Sim Yi Ling, was seen crying after identifying her daughter's body at the UMMC mortuary at 6.45 in the evening. Sim was unable to walk and had to be carried by her ex-husband and father of the victim, Ng Sai Kwan, who returned from Johor earlier Wednesday. The body of the 15-year-old will be sent to the Kwangtong Funeral Parlor at Jalan Dewan Bahasa Pustaka in Kuala Lumpur and will be cremated on Friday.